Dragonborn, we need to talk. It's been a little time now after, you know, Kintyra came along and I want to make sure everything is done right. I mean, come on, look at this place. Let's get the surveyors in the palace so they can begin taking down notes of what needs redoing. I told Mom and Blackwell what I want, so we can leave Kintyra here with her and Clarice and take a few days off organizing the blessing in the film. Duh. Yeah, it has to be in the Chapel of Mara, and I won't take no for an answer. You do still love me, don't you? I know you've been amazing lately, saving me during the birth, but remember that time at the Roxy? You did promise we could do all the things I wanted. You do remember, don't you? Great. Then I'll get ready and we can go as soon as possible. Dragonborn, she's safe here. Blackwell has reformed the Penitus Oculatus and we have a ton of Praetorians. Plus we got Brom and Tiny, Mom and Kiris. I need this. I need some time. Just me and you. It's only a couple of days. We can stay at Castle Breville, go see the High Priestess, and make arrangements for Kintyra's blessing. Plus, I like Breville. It's more my kind of town. Please, Dragonborn, I need this. Oh, and can we travel incognito? You know, just like old times. I'll see you outside the stables. My lady, permission to speak. Do you think it is wise to go alone to Breville? Allow Tara and myself to go ahead of you, if only to make sure of your safety for when you arrive. As you command, my lady. The child shall be protected at all times. My lady, as you command, it shall be so.
sure. Hey, just point the way, and I'll follow.
friends. Welcome to Breville. Please feel free to leave your horses here, and I'll make sure they get watered and given fresh hay for the amazing price of absolutely free. That's awfully kind of you. What's the catch? No catch. The service is free for all travellers visiting Breville by order of the Count. Have you heard the Count is not well and isn't taking visitors? Yes, the poor Count. Well, actually, all those within the keep are suffering from uh, a really nasty dose of the galloping trots. But you will be more than welcome to stay at Silverhome on the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the proprietor runs it fabulously and is very well known in the city for remedies. She also helps me take care of looking after the chapel as well. <laughs> So you know the High Priestess? Absolutely. You need me to arrange it too. Hey, that would be really nice. Could you do that? Of course. I do all sorts of chores and menial tasks for Uravesa. Cleaning, food preparation. I even help out gardening and maintaining the graveyard with Rose. Wait, what? Um, helping out gardening and maintaining the graveyard? Ah, I help out at the chapel with Rose. She's the proprietor of Silver Home on the Water. Please, just go and ask for a room, or two, and I'm sure she'll be happy to oblige. <clears throat> Antonius Morrow, at your service. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes indeed, my father. However, we haven't seen eye to eye for some time. I am considered in low esteem by the rest of my family, as I decided to elope to reveal with my fiancée Alana. I haven't seen my father or older brother for years. Sorry? How do we recognize this rose? Just so we know we'll be talking to the right person. Well, she's uh, she's quite pretty. I think she's probably in her later twenties, early thirties. Uh, long, wavy red hair, green, blue eyes. I think that's all we need. Thank you. My pleasure. Hmm. Dragonborn, we need to talk. Over here. Dragonborn, do you think it's the same person? I mean, it's been a long time, right? Okay then, what if it is? That's wonderful, right? Okay, come on, let's talk about this. So what if it is, Rose? And I hope it is, I really do, because I'll finally get to thank her for helping save my life. Is there anything you're not telling me about what happened? And I want to know the truth, okay? We need to be prepared. So, what happened back then? Uh-huh. Did she get you to do anything else? So you checked it out, right? So what happened about that treasure?
You're such an honest person. Did you sleep with her? Come on, Dragonborn. It's fine. We weren't even a thing then. I'm totally cool with it, okay? Quite what? Go on. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> well, you must have gotten it right then. <laughs> Well, this is going to be fun if it is her, right? After you. I love you too. Not much, but I hope you like them. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. Can I help you? Ah. Hey, Rose, you've got visitors. Wonderful surprise. I'm so pleased you made it. By the gods, I have waited so long to meet you again. 
If it wasn't for you and the Dragonborn, I would not be here right now. So it's true. You are the Dragonborn. And if that's true... <clears throat> I'll, uh, give you two a moment together. I didn't believe it at first when Antonius told me about the Dragonborn Empress and the High Queen Rigmore. As there's only one Rigmore I've ever known, it sounded almost like something out of a fairy tale, but here you both are. You took good care of her, and I'm so proud of you. Come, let's sit and catch up. I want to see my girl. So amazing! Who would have thought we would all be sitting here together after all these years? Rose, thank you for saving my life. I owe you everything. You don't owe me a thing. And I couldn't have done it without the Dragonborn. Did you ever return to Skyrim? No, I haven't been back. After Hedrin unknowingly led the Thalmor to Riverwood. In my brief incarceration, I wanted to start afresh, try something new. Of course, I lost everything I had, but I never gave up. You can look after yourself, right? Rigmore, if you've got nothing to lose, you can only gain, right? I was a different person back then. I only took with me the parts I liked about myself. Like helping people out? Uh, something like that. I help out here in Bravel. People come to me all the time. I even made some balms for the Count to help him with his issues. What's wrong with him? Well, the Count and his family have caught a disease. It's not life-threatening, but very contagious. That's why the Keep area is out of bounds. What disease? It's an Argonian bum disease called Skill. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, no. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> oh, the gods. Hey, Rigmore, why don't you go get a round of drinks? Tell Matilda to put them on the tab. <clears throat> drinks coming right up. I know. I figured something had happened when the news filtered through Bruma that Fort Black had been attacked. I made it over the border, easily sneaked past those dumb mercenaries. I spent a couple of weeks there before moving on working as a part-time cleaner at the Tap and Tack. Colin and his wife were good to me. Then I heard about Bravil and what a steaming pile of junk it was and thought I would fit right in there. <laughs> Bruma was way too cold for me anyway, so I made my way down here and have been here ever since. Oh, I missed you too. Here we go. Let's drink to absent friends. So Rose, how did you manage to become the proprietor of Silverholm? Well, it was a little run down and had been empty for about a year before I got here. I was staying at the chapel across the way. The sisters took good care of me at that time. I helped with the gardening, taking care of the graveyard along with Antonius. Is, uh, you and Antonius? <laughs> uh, no, nothing like that. I'm very picky when it comes to that kind of thing. It was about that time the Countess became very sick after her second child. I got involved, and they both made it. One morning a few days later, the Count arrived at the chapel and, without saying a word, handed me the keys to Silverholm on the water. I've been here ever since. But that's enough about me. What about you two? 
What's been going on with you? Dragonborn? <laughs> you got that right. I can only imagine. I mean, look at you now. It makes me so happy for many reasons that you're both still together and happy. And most importantly, Cyrodiil has hope. No, the Empire has hope. Especially after the darkest of days these last few years. No, oh, I remember it all. It got really crazy. Count Bravel along with some others were defending the South Bridge, but they traversed his positions and went straight for the capital. We knew they had virtually sacked Leowen, so the first chance I had, I headed down there to see what I could do to help. The new Count is an honorable man. I've never met him, but from what I hear, he's doing an amazing job, and the people love him. Yeah. Wow. That was a trying time for me. If the Dragonborn had not been there for me, I... Rigmore, if I had known it was you, I would have come to visit you. But things went really sideways, right? The next thing I heard was that the Countess had been imprisoned for treason, but then had managed to escape and break the Siege of Bruma. Did you know Count Bravel took his army and sat on the hill overlooking the capital? Skingrad had all but besieged Chorl and had him cowering behind his walls. Leowin was surrounded and there was nothing to stop Bruma from taking the bridge that way apart from him. He turned his horse around and took his army home. I asked him about that moment. He simply said, Rose, I did my part in saving the Empire that day. Order had been restored by the grace of the Divines. Hey, why don't I get another round of drinks? I got it. Everyone <clears throat> hang tight. She's great. You've done an amazing job looking out for her. How long have you two been together now? Are you two... Did you ever think you would become what you are today? The last dragonborn. If the divine so wish it, it shall be so. That's an ambiguous statement. If I didn't know any better, I would think it was completely innocent. Then I am guilty of purposely trying to mislead you. <laughs> My lady, my mistress will see you now, alone. <laughs> Time is of the essence. We must go now, quickly. Go. Rigmore and I will spend time catching up. I want to hear all about her adventures. I'll be waiting here for you when you return. All the more beer for us. Uh. Ura Vesa is very respected in Reveal, if not all of Syrian. She is so caring, and if she can't help, she will. More often than not, she will eat food at the Shrine of Mara. Next morning, it's gone. I asked her why she did that, and she told me it was left for the poor. Sometimes she will visit Nicodemus, who is looking after the Mages Guild, only to bring him food. Vesa is not in the chapel, try her living quarters, down the steps, door on the left. Until next time, 
Well met. Majesty, it is my honor to receive you under these special circumstances. Mara informed us you would be coming some time ago to arrange for the Dragon Child's blessing. Come, I'll explain everything in the privacy of my living quarters. Here we are. Please sit. Make yourself comfortable. Ah. I can have most of the pews removed before the special occasion. I'll have Antonia store them in the Undercroft. Mara contacted me to make preparations nine months ago. One of my priestesses will help perform the ritual blessing. Alana. Saint Alana the Kind. Yes, Alana was to be chosen if you... if you had decided not to... you know. And for her offer of martyrdom and devotion to the Divines, she was blessed by Mara herself into sainthood. But how is little Kintyra? I hope she is not too demanding. I see. No, no, of course not. I just didn't think he would visit us and lodge in such humble quarters. Yes, we hope with Rose's help the Count and his family will recover soon. Rose is a shining star. Not only does she help here, but Braville owes her a great debt of gratitude. She travels sometimes to other cities to help as a midwife, physician. <laughs> her gardening skills could use a little work, but Antonius is there for the heavy lifting. Hmm, it's not all perfect, but Braville has come a long way since. Since you became Empress, and released us all from that tyrant and his monster. Anyway, I want to inform you the date of the child's blessing is completely at your discretion. It could be even as early as tomorrow, or in a few weeks. But I'll leave that up to you and Lady Rigmore. Actually, there is something else. <sighs> something isn't right. Mara has had visions. Someone, no. 
Something lurks, hides in dark places in plain sight. She tried to see through the darkness, but there's a powerful barrier. But she saw in a flash the image of the face of Tang Mo. Well, that's a relief. I am sorry. I am sure everything will be fine now. Do you know who, what, he was? Please, Majesty, forget I even mentioned it. We don't want to be concerning ourselves of the past. Anyway, we have a special room in the Undercroft for any emergencies. But you must be very proud of your little girl. Especially because she is such a little miracle. This is Mara's doing. A gift from the Divines that surpasses any norm. Just like my own birthing. <laughs> I am a child born from two mothers as well. Indeed. But I have taken up too much of your time already, Majesty. And thank you for coming to see me. I just wanted to relay the information. Not only about Alana, but also my fears. Thank you. We all look forward to the coming blessing. I feel reassured knowing the absolute power of the Divines is bestowed in you, and that you are now here with us to protect us all. Need something? Hey, you're back. Hope everything went well. Well, although she can drink like a fish, she's no match for me. <laughs> I took her to bed. I booked you both in the first floor adjacent rooms. I hope that's not an issue. You know, she was lights out as soon as her head hit the mattress. I was looking on before I left the room. It's amazing to think. 
something like that. Uh, it's getting late. No, why don't I show you around the city at night? Would you like that? Come on, I'll give you a quick tour. Follow me. The shop next door belongs to Mitharian and Anduin. It's been passed down in their family for centuries. Bravo used to be such a dreary place, but I livened it up a bit. See the festive buntings? I made those. And here's the old fighters guild. No, it's been locked up since then. All I know is there was a big fight. I was in Leowin at the time. You can't be serious. I'll get us into trouble. Oh, if we get caught. What? By the gods, what an idiot. I keep forgetting. After you. <laughs> shame. I know several of the fighters made a stand. They cut down a lot of Sethius' men. The Count himself had to order them to stand down. A couple of them joined the Bravel garrison, rather than be pressed into the new Imperial army. Uh, come on, let's get out of here. Around the corner is Invariant's place, the Warlock's luck, but he's a miserable old kid. Come on, I want to show you something special. Here she is. Uh, doesn't she look beautiful in the candlelight? She stands on the site of the lucky old lady statue that was destroyed during the Skuma Wars. Uravasa had this made so travelers could offer gifts to improve their luck and enhance their fortunes. Come on, I want to show you something else. At the far east wall, there used to be a shrine to Zenithar. During the Skuma Wars, the whole wall was blown out into the Naden Bay. It's said the explosion could be seen over 10 miles away, and the shockwave was felt in Imperial City. The Mage's Guild is being looked after by Nicodemus. He's also known as Nicky Nine Toes. He kind of squats there, hoping one day the mages will return.
The wall was eventually repaired, and it's said Xenathar was so disgusted he abandoned Bravo. After two nights of total darkness, the people of Bravo awoke to this. This statue of Debella has been shining brightly here ever since. Some say she hopes to bring peace and love to the city. It's one of the reasons I love it here. Yes? Oh, you did? <laughs> Thank you so much. It means a lot. Come on, we'd better be getting back. I'll show you to your room. Rigmore's is on the left. Yours is on the right. Well, My ladies, Lady Rigmore. My ladies, Lady Rigmore. Dragonborn, what? What's happening? We need your help. The chapel is under attack. The priestesses have barricaded themselves in the Undercroft. Assassins! 
Rose managed to fight them off long enough for them all to get to safety. Well, for now. It's only a matter of time before they smash their way in. Stay here and you'll only get yourself killed. Is someone there? That's the last of them. Aha! That's the last of them. Uh -huh. uh, so What was that? What was that? <laughs> Open up! It's us! Rose! Oh, the... Alana! Oh, no! I... I failed her. This was an execution, wasn't it? Baby she would have had if... if you had chosen otherwise. Assassins from Morrowind. And they won't stop until the writ is fulfilled. The poor child. And we're going to do something about it, Dragonborn. I'm not going to live the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. So you had better get the damn ambassador over here. Go. I'll take care of Rose and Antonius. And Saint Alana. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. It is the will of the gods. May Mera bless you, and guide you in all you do.
Do you think they'll come? Okay. Remember, Dragonborn, they tried to have me killed while I was carrying Kintyra. It's her they wanted. If we can't get it annulled, what then? I love it when you're being all forceful. Mm. The Ambassador of Morrowind. Greetings. I came as soon as I could. The correspondence was marked important. How can I help you? Well, uh, that is hardly anything to do with us. They are a law unto themselves. Their business practices, although a little shady, don't usually involve anyone outside of Morrowind. Uh, they are tricky little fellows to actually pin down. I'm sorry for your loss, but what do you expect me to do about it? I am afraid you are mistaken by holding the king in complete high esteem. Morrowind prides itself with the jurisdiction of the Grand Council, along with the king, to preside over the province. The king alone can't make scurrilous organizations such as the Morak Tong bow to him. What exactly do you wish me to relate to him? Is that a threat? No! This is a threat! We are telling you to go back and tell your king, or your grand council, or whoever the hell actually runs your bog-filled, ash-covered province, that I am not going to be looking over my shoulder every waking moment for scum and murdering filth who only want to kill me and my baby. You call them a business? You state it's Nothing to do with you? It's everything to do with you. Everything! The only scurrilous organization I can see are those that rule Morrowind. Poor, inept, feckless leaders. Cowards that cannot even control what goes on in their very own province. Let alone anywhere else. And you have the audacity to call yourself an ambassador! This is outrageous. Not as outrageous as what will happen when we tear your province apart, piece by piece, looking for the very scum you are sheltering. We will leave no stone unturned. We will raise whole cities to the ground if we have to, until all the heads of the Morag Tong are decorating my walls as an example to the world of Morrowind's finest. So you let them all know, the king, the council, and especially the scum, child-killing, Morag Tong. If anything happens to me or my baby, you had better run and hide, because the wrath of the Dragonborn will make the Numidium look like a Twimba child's toy! This isn't the last you'll be hearing of this. Good! Good! Bring it on! Now run along. That's it. Scurry away and go back to your king. Oh, and remind him that natives of his province, acting out a grave writ outside of Morrowind, is an act of war! So, 
How did I do? You know, I could get used to this. As long as we're together, who could stop us? Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> It's a letter from Uravasa. Rose isn't doing so well. After Alana. <sighs> She's taking it badly. And Uravasa is worried about her well being. And now, with poor Antonius, too. I owe her my life, Dragonborn. Both of you. And I don't want to see her suffering on her own. She's been holding a constant vigil by the Shrine of Debella. She's not eating. Everyone's worried about her. I blame myself for this. I just want to put things right going forward. I guess. Anyway, we have a long road ahead of us. I'll try to help here and organize things going forward. Go and find Rose. I know she didn't want to come back with us, but she can stay here at least until she's feeling better. Thank you.
thought that the love of Isabella existed in this place. But there is no love. Any death. Hate. Anger. Despair. Next you'll be telling me she has risen to be among the saints. The records will show she was brave, she endured and gave her life gladly for the love of the gods. But she was scared. She cried and screamed and died the most terrible way possible. Is that for the love of the gods? I... I'm sorry. I have to go. I can't stay here now. Not after this. Where? I... I don't know. Maybe the Gold Coast. What? Become your nursemaid? Nah, I don't think so. Is that her name? Oh, that's nice. Well, only if you promise me a holiday dream home on the Gold Coast. <laughs> Not promising anything, okay? Imperial Court Physician. Well, come on then. I'll show you how to change and feed a baby.
ako. Need something? I can do that. 